हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल मोचन भी रिकॉर्डेड मेरे साथ है चीफ इंजीनियर अरविंद सिंह सर जिन्होंने भी रिसेंटली ही हेज मेड इलेक्ट्रिकल बेसिक पैकेज ऑन मोचन भी रिकॉर्डेड वेबसाइट फॉर दी मोचन भी रिकॉर्डेड फैमिली सो लेट्स आस्क यू फ्यू क्वेश्चन एंड वॉट डू वी प्लान टू डू फर्दर विच इज़ रियली रियली इंपॉर्टेंट गाइज सो प्लीज एवरी मरीन इंजीनियर और हु इज़ अबाउट टू बिकम अ मरीन इंजीनियर or every electrical officer on board ship or who is about to become a eto need to watch this video because you will definitely get to learn to so, orvin sir mujhe ye bataiye my first question is ki uh, you started this electrical package when we were discussing you said sir basic will be starting from electron and proton mm -hmm. and i said sir ye to it is very basic matlab mm -hmm. i guess any marine engineer out here or any et electrical officer will be knowing that why so why did you start from such a basic thing that is atom well uh, that's a foundation of electricity this all start from the electron proton the charges and i feel that uh, the basic is also a very really important and it's not a very complex stuff also it is not time consuming so if it is it is always better that you know that what exact what cause electricity basically so and uh, this thing helps in troubleshooting somewhere so the basics are actually needed so that is where you started from the very beginning so like uh, you are planning you have got a very big vision that is okay now you want to go for the electrical advanced package where you are planning to cover a lot of topics a few of them which i can disclose right now are like uh, reading of an electrical circuit diagram mm -hmm. uh, like uh, pid controllers uh, like uh, plc mm -hmm. troubleshooting as well which which i think are really important and most and some other important topics which an electrical officer needs on board ship even like working of a multimeter on a detailed way and all those stuffs so uh, do you think this basic package is very relevant with what we are going to do the advanced package do you think so absolutely it is connected so uh, you cannot go directly to the advance and uh, we know that we have faced this situation where we found that for unfortunately this is the thing and everybody must accept it that the marine engineers electrical knowledge are not so good and i sorry to say that but some of the electrical engineers also but anyway it means it's never too late to learn things agar aap if you feel that ki aapne college mein dhyan nahi diya ya theek hai it's ho gaya miss out ho gaya but now just you can have a good start means because this future is electric on electrically controlled or electronically controlled engines and we are moving to to that zone so if you want to survive in this competitive world means even the merchant navy is also like becoming more and more competitive and uh, so you have to learn there is no other way out you have to learn electricity and uh, again uh, there is never too late and i have taught chief chief engineers also electricity and i found that they are so happy that means when i start from basics and they they realize okay they have learned something new there they even i realized orvin ji when i was watching this videos those people who do not know chief in orvin singh sir has got 5 years experience of uh, teaching at anglo sir maritime training center as well so the thing is uh, uh, i'll just share my personal experience when i remember when i was a fourth engineer my electrical officer was very good he was a ukrainian mm -hmm. he told me ke pranit i see that you want to learn i want i'll give you one tip i've been selling with a lot of chief engineer second engineers if you want to become a good marine engineer learn my job as well yeah because if you know my job they don't know my job Absolutely. if you know my job you will be better than them and then they will respect you because on ship it is the knowledge that matters and that stuck me badly but i had did not have this platform where i could learn about rectifiers in detail and especially related to shipping line mm -hmm. ki abhi rectifier dekhna duniya ka aayega but how it is related to shipping line how it works on ship Uh, we we talk about transformers but how is the circuit diagram made out there msb esb acb and how it starts from the very basic that is the journey that i never knew but i just started it so i started with the reading the circuit diagrams he told me first time he told me acha make a circuit diagram where there is a lamp in a room mm -hmm. and there is a switch inside the room and there is a switch outside but you have to make such a way when you put both on on then it is off mm -hmm. when you put both the switches off then also then also then it is on Mm -hmm. something like that and it took me around 2 to 3 hours just to mm -hmm. make that sir first circuit diagram but i was so happy to do that and from there this interest in me developed and which helped me later on even as a third engineer when i had to understand this uh, 
uh, what I would say is DP cell system for a boiler when I was working on boilers, which which was the first time my chief you know, got impressed because I studied that system and I could implement once when it was kaput mm -hmm. and it Im worked immensely when, when I became a second engineer. So this is my experience that electrical knowledge is really important, not just from the examination point of view, key for MEO class 4 or for MEO class 2 or for MEO class 1. But it is really very important if you want to earn respect on ship and you want to be known as a good engineer. Am I right, sir? Absolutely. It means uh, uh, I don't even call people means a full-fledged marine engineer if they only know the mechanical part. Then you are just a mechanical engineer. We know that each and every machine on ship has got some electrical domain also. Means there will be like electro-mechanical machine. You call it any machine like steering gear. Of course, you you have got electrical control over there main engine so all systems when they already have electrical part and anything could good go wrong either mechanical or electrical so sometimes it, they keep passing the ball back onto each other oh. oh this is there for your fault you this is your domain something electrical is faulty it's not my job so any electrical engineer would say no no it's something mechanical is faulty so this should not happen means you should at least at least find out okay there's an electrical fault. Maybe you're not able to troubleshoot. Maybe it's a default. But at least that much knowledge is needed that you must be able to, to differentiate. I'll give an example. Sorry, sir. I was a third engineer and there was some problem with the, one of the boilers, automation part. And I could see literally my second engineer and my electrical electrical also loggerheads. Hmm. Hey, machine a fault, a mechanical fault. Hai. Tumko nahi aata hai. Hmm. My second, Are, tumko nahi pata, uska solid and wall chala gaya. Tumko nahi pata, tum nahi janta hai. And suddenly, because of this blame game, it took us two days to solve the problem. Yeah. And now, because when you have an electrical officer thinker, it's a mechanical fault, he was not even inclined towards doing a proper troubleshooting with the circuit diagram and everything to make sure that it is really working or not. Are, mera problem solved hai, meter se nahi hai. Second year, suddenly with ego issues. Are, mera problem solved hai, mere se nahi hai. Yeah. Chief here is looking now, that is where you get stuck. Now, if as a second engineer, if you know a little bit electrical circuit diagram, mm -hmm. so you can understand his point of view. Yeah. That is where good leadership comes into play. That's right. Achha, batti sab Achha, batti sab ye kiya, ye kiya. Dekho, ball operate ra, chali, mein chal ke dekhte. Oh, it is operating. That means it is not your fault. I have to check it. Right. But if you don't know, you will not be then it will be passing. Mera nahi hai, tumhara. And similarly, it goes for electrical officer as well. Just by knowing just the electrical job will never help you become a good electrical officer. Right. You also need to understand the mechanical part of how the machinery works. Yes. Then you will become an asset. You, yeah. Basic working, everybody must know. If you want to troubleshoot something, you have to have an overview. Means oral idea how the things are working there in conjunction. Yes. So guys, these are some basic examples that we have put across. If you want to join a good shipping company, if you want to join a good college, these electrical packages are really important. If you're already in a process of sailing, going on a first ship, these all electrical packages are very important. Basic as well as advanced. Advanced is about to come. Basic is already there. If you are a sailing marine engineer electrical officer, please, please, please don't even think that advanced ka wait karunga, electrical circuit diagram dekhunga. Agar foundation niche because the foundation is not strong. No matter how good your upper body is, you're always going to be weak. And when that day comes, when that troubleshooting is required, when that day comes, when that machinery ka troubleshooting and that pressure is there, you will succumb to pressure. You will not able to, you will not be able to solve. So that is where the purpose of Orvin Singh Sir and Merchant Navy Decoded lies. And that is, please, please, please go with the fundamentals first. And this is a request to all the people who have bought the Achiever package or Visionary package. Go for Dreamers package first. Foundation maase hai. Then Visionary as well. Achiever as well. That is how you have to go. And jab tum wo sab karoge, You'll become a fantastic marine engineer. You'll become a fantastic electrical officer. And you'll make this whole maritime community proud. And that is the vision of Orvin Singh sir. That is the vision of Praneet Mehta out here. And that is the vision of whole Merchant Navy Decoded family. With this, anything sir you want to add? No, nothing, nothing sir. Only I'll tell that. Means uh, when you are working on ship, then there's a self-respect attached to, and the pride attached to the job. So when, when, when you are troubleshooting something, nasty then that self pride means jo that enthusiasm or the means the sense of pride then you feel so i hope you feel that ki many it bahut sal bahut time se problem chal rahi thi maine solve kar di and that can only happen if you know the mechanical as well as electrical part there and yes. please do share with us such examples because ye sirf aapke liye nahi hamara vision hai 
we should we will be feeling so proud and happy that we could bring a difference in somebody's life or somebody's mindset who has become a troubleshooter on board ship who is being known for his or her work and who is doing a fabulous job on board ship making this whole maritime community proud so please go ahead start watching these videos invest on yourself make notes keep learning keep growing thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata